what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel we have this fun question that says find the value of x times y given that 2 to the power of x is equal to 125 and 5 to the power of y is equal to 128 can you solve this question without using logarithm well that is what i'm about to show you well, I'm going to be starting with this second equation. So I can name this equation 1 and name this equation 2. So from equation 2, we have 5 to the power of y to be equal to 128 is the same as 2 to the power of 7. Now all we're going to do will be for us to multiply the exponent of both sides by 1 all over y. So we have 5 to the power of y, multiply the exponent by 1 all over y, equal to, this is 2 to the power of 7, we also multiply the exponent by 1 all over y to balance it up. Now notice that this y cancels out this y, leaving behind 5 to be equal to 2 to the power of 7 times 1 is 7 all over y very good so 5 is equal to 2 to the power of 7 over y now we're going to be substituting this 5 in equation 1 now in equation 1 we have 2 to power x to be equal to 125 is same as 5 to the power of 3 so this is 2 to power x equal to remember we want to substitute the 5 which is equal to 2 to the power 7 over y here. So in place of this 5, I'm going to be putting 2 to the power of 7 all over y. Very good. And it is raised to power 3, so I'm going to be raising this to power 3. Good. Now, we apply the law of indices that says that when I have a to the power of m, and this is raised to another power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m, times n that means we're going to be multiplying this power and this power so we have 2 to power x to be equal to 2 to power now let's multiply the powers 7 times 3 is 21 all over y very good now notice that the base on the left and the base on the right are the same and because of that we can equate their powers so the power on the left is x and this is equal to the power on the right is 21 all over y. Well, let's make this a fraction by dividing over 1. Now we can cross multiply. When I cross multiply, you see that x times y is xy. This is equal to 1 times 21 is 21. So the value of xy, which the question requires us to solve, is 21. So we see that we solve this without using logarithm. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.